as an acknowledgement song, acknowledging each and every one of you nations. For one year languages to The purpose of our presentation today is to illustrate intersecting networks of relationships contributing to one community steered language reclamation project, Elko, moving out to sea. My name is Fosinia. Um, my English name is Linda Elliott. Um, Fosinia is my Sanchata name. Uh, my dad's work is um, being displayed on this uh, eight plus J uh, from uh, Vancouver Island is where we're at in Canada and the name of our tribe is Kusaynik and our language is Sinchothan. In 19, early 70s, starting around 1971, um, I was working with my dad and um, he was um, busy working on creating an alphabet for our language. And um, he used an old typewriter to, to base his um, alphabet on. We have 38 symbols in our alphabet and it's based on English alphabet, which he felt was, would be very simple for the children and anyone to learn and, and made it readily available for all to have a chance to learn this the sounds in our alphabet. And at that time we were losing our language. Um, I was very fortunate to have been able to have some years working with my dad after I got out of high school. And um, we worked together for quite a number of years along with um, 10 uh, other first language Sanchasan speakers. And at that time, we were losing our, our Sanchasan speakers, our first language speakers were dwindling. So this was the, the uh, urgency that, that was in my, my dad's heart to, to save our language and have it there for the young people to be able to learn the language and to carry on our Spanish language and our beliefs and 
um, this is a, an example of uh, some of the, uh, the writing that our um, father did back then. He spent most of his time working on this in the last 15 to 20 years of his life. He, he worked night and day to, to um, save uh, the language that he had in his in his mind in his what he had lived through as a young person he was the first language teacher a language speaker and um you'll see some of these writings is actually his his own handwriting that um and it's based in the Sanchathan alphabet that he created there was another alphabet the universal alphabet that was being used at that time but he felt that it would be much more readily available to our young people and those that are wishing to learn the language to um, have, have it in this um, Sanchasan language format that he created. And now the young people are busy working on our, our, our language. Um, they've They've learned, uh, this is another, maybe to, I think two, two more generations since then, his grandchildren are, are the ones that are teaching the language now. I myself, I'm still working with the elders in the uh, language um, teaching uh, some classes for for um, adults and um, I'm still working with other language speakers to do um, uh, translate materials for the um, uh, immersion classes and teachers that are in the classrooms now. This is a list of our team members. I'm uh, Anter Elliott, the grandson of uh, Dave Elliott. Um, Panach, and I am a um, a research assistant and uh, archiver and uh, language learner. Um, I help enter in and archive these handwritten notes that you see on the screen here, and um, uh, save them online and uh, kind of keep them, put them on the internet. Basically, put them on uh, first voices. Um, a lot of these notes were taken right from the beginning when the, um, language was first being decided upon and they were, um, putting together the spellings for these words and, uh, putting the, um, description in or the, uh, definitions in and, uh, there a lot of these notes that I've entered in were entered in by my grandfather Panetch and um, and other elders in the community. So, in kind of like uh, helping save the language online, um, and uh, my experience so far has been. Uh, interesting. When I started, I I haven't really had much contact with uh, Sinchathan since about grade one, other than my mother and my brother uh, speaking it at home. And so I felt overwhelmed and kind of nervous starting this. And um, uh, when I started, I got a lot of help from everybody here. And um, it was um, uh, interesting. Um, I needed help with the root words, so we started doing the root words together, and um, I got to see everyone dissect the words and uh, uh, decide the root of each word. And that has been... Uh, like a learning process for me, being able to see each part of the word and how 
there's different parts to each word that fit together like Lego blocks in our language to make a whole new descriptive meaning. And um, that one word in our language can have immense uh, meaning. I feel like it's been um, a very unique way to learn. And I am planning on taking our Sinchothan East uh, program so I can become like a full on language speaker. And um, this has been my first step into the language. And I feel like this is uh, really, well, I'm really grateful for this work because um, it has a lot of purpose in our community and it's personal to me and my family. A lot of these notes are my grandfather's notes. And um, it's, uh, it's been a privilege. It's great job. Um I am Megan at Peace River um Cree Metisen Halisen Etha at uh so my Sinchathan name that I was honored with um from the Sinchathan Sinchathan East cohort that I um go to school with was Iamoe uh, my English name is Megan Supernault. Um, I'm from the Peace River area. Uh, I'm Cree Métis. Um, and I'm married in here um, in Hussainich. Uh, this is my husband, Stolkwith. Um, and we are working together on um, the Ithquith project, uh, working with um, Stolkwith's um, late grandfather's work. Um, digitizing and archiving um, the work that he was doing. And um, I'm also going to UVic um, to become a teacher. So I'm in the Bedler program and um, learning the language, uh, which has been really great. Um, bringing the language into our home. So not only am I gonna be a part of um, the language re revitalization efforts here, but I'm also, you know, bringing the language into our home uh, with our children who are in the immersion program. And so doing this work has really helped me in my language acquisition, um, just looking at it and having, getting to have that time um, with, you know, Kusinia and Jacintin and Panech, um, and then working with my husband, um, and us, you know, look, looking at the language and um, looking at the roots and stuff has been really great for our language learning. Warren or Stalkwith, my role in the Eithquith project has been um, archiving uh, my grandpa Panetch's word list. Um, it's good because we get to see all the hard work he put into uh, preserving our language. And um, uh, I think it's going to be a great resource for learners and uh, teachers. It's great to all. I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say um, my name is Ty Swallow, and uh, I am speaking on behalf of our school board um, and how we, uh, we work together in, in, in partnership with all these uh, um, lovely partners that we have and have helped us create uh, all this work that we've been able to do over the years. Um, we, uh, our school is about, has about 250 students right now, and it's part of the, we have the Slamo Child Development Center, the Slamo uh, Elementary School, Sanish Leadership Secondary, Sanish Adult Education Center, where we have our states and Sanchothan uh, Language Revitalization Program. The poster that we see here um, was developed in, um, for the 2013 ICLDC, and uh, uh, Panich was one of our artists who you'll meet soon, who did a lot of these logos, and uh, the rest of our team put this together. Um, what it does is it highlights kind of the uh, 
the initiatives that have, have helped us create the capacity that we do have, have today. Um, we have uh, our Sohwein Skepot is our elders advisory is a huge part of everything we do and a big part of the Erkot project, which we're speaking to today. Our Chilangan Khan is our sort of ancestral voices. Elanganak is our learning from homeland program. Huichistol is our um, mentor apprentice program. And um, we also have our Chatzitis, which is uh, all the resource development that we have to do. And of course, everything we are doing is part of uh, working towards our Lenong school layout, which is uh, what had been mentioned earlier is our immersion program that we've been running for uh, up to grade seven. We started as a language nest in 2012 and have worked up to grade seven as of uh, this September. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, and uh, you can see on the bottom of the poster is all the partners that have helped contribute to our, our language revitalization efforts over the year years um, and it's an honor to be able uh, to help with this work um, and yeah I'm super sad that we're not here to, um, presenting in Hawaii but um, as this has been a huge part of the success that we've had has been uh, modeled after a lot of what we've learned from the Hawaiians and Chief of Tom so yeah having said that uh, it's nice to be here I uh, wish I was there with you all and uh, yeah I will stop there. Thanks Gwetjo Hela the lady at the Nisne, Lance, Lance and Sayot. Um, I'm just um, one of many of the um, workers where my brother Lou and I, uh, Salampton, we work with Tim Wattler and other linguists um, at UVic and other linguists from, from back east. Um, we worked directly with Tim Motler from Texas. Um, it was way back in um, 1971 that Tim Motler recorded <clears throat> the, about um, our, our elders here from Sayot and, and um, my mother, Elsie Claxton was one of them and my brother Earl. And uh, he worked very closely with them and recording uh, PM stories or creation stories. And we worked and translated a lot of the recordings, my brother Lou and I, and all the accomplishments um, uh, with 25 other elders approximately from Spanish. Um, we managed to um, get our Sanchothan Dictionary which was published by, uh, in 2018, which we had a, a formal presentation. Um, Ken Foster started in 2012, and as time went on, Tim Montler took over. Um, Lou and I are Salemton, we were one of the knowledge keepers. And we just, and we work with all the young people here, and we're very fortunate that they picked up the language really quick. Um, and with all of the other funding resources available, we managed to accomplish and getting our dictionary published, and we're very happy about it. Aiska. I'm a linguist at the University of Victoria, and I'm also the linguist. Uh, on the Ilkwil project. I'm very, very honored to be working on the project with this wonderful group of friends and colleagues. Um, as a faculty member at UVic, I can say that the relationship with the Sanchothan community has been critical for teaching the university how to honor lands and how to begin learning to do research and teaching in a good way. Knowledge keepers like Chisington, Kusinia, Salilia, and Slemton have been advisors to and teachers in post-secondary language revitalization programs. In turn, um, UVic has several laddered language revitalization undergraduate programs offered in partnership with community and in community. And as a result, the Sanchatha community has several cohorts in these programs. Many of the graduates are teaching in schools or are otherwise involved in language work. And nine Sanchothan community members have taken the master's program, including Panette, who will be speaking in a few minutes. 
In addition, the Saanich School Board and the Saanich Native Heritage Society have been founding partners in various research grants. And one of these was the Coast Salish um, Language Revitalization Cura, whose mandate was to do research and training related to Sanchothan language revitalization. And that particular project played a major role in establishing a relationship between Chisinkt and Kusinya and myself, and has led to my participation as a linguist on the Eilkho project. And another uh, project is the Natalnuk project, which has allowed the Sanchothan team to develop their research into root words. And that's also an important component of Eilkho. Relationships with outside agencies also have played a critical role. And so the materials that we're digitizing contribute to the firstvoices.com suite of lexical and language archiving tools and resources. First Peoples Cultural Foundation and Council are major supporters of these kinds of programs. Chasington was one of the founders of First Voices and has played a leadership role in First Peoples for many years. Academic funders have also provided support for documentation and revitalization efforts. So the interconnectedness of all of these relationships is particularly important for strengthening and nurturing language revitalization work. I So Panech is my uh, ancestral Setnich name, as you may have uh, possibly recognized the name as it's been mentioned a few times. Uh, it comes from my late grandfather, David Elliott, who was the one who actually devised the orthography. So um, uh, I, I consider myself a, a, a very privileged individual among Husaitnich uh, to be carrying uh, the name of my late grandfather, um, which it so happens uh, I've stepped into uh, the uh, a role of uh, both teaching and um, creating resources for our language. So uh, looking at um, our Eilkwetsche and and uh, network of relationships, um, we have these, uh, basically these, these three uh, different sorts of uh, areas uh, that um, we're, we're thinking of here. Uh, one for community infrastructure, uh, post-secondary connections, and uh, outside institutions. So when we look at the community infrastructure, um, this is where the, the crux of, of, of things of our, our, our um, language revitalization efforts are, are concentrated. So uh, our in-house Things, if you will. Um, so we have on the first, on the top bullet there, uh, which translates to our elder advisors, uh, which is who we rely on um, as much as we as we uh, possibly can to ensure that our language is good going forward, as they are our teachers and they are the ones who basically check um, our resources and that the content. That we're working on is correct. Stetson is a reference to it is a department that um, uh, we use this name to refer to our apprenticeship program, primarily as uh, apprentices of language uh, for basically uh, those who are probably eventually going to step into the role of a teacher in the classroom. So it's kind of a uh, a sort of a pre preliminary preemptive kind of measure to work towards uh, becoming a, a teacher or what I should say is a language revitalizer uh, of Sanchothan. Chilengen Khan is in reference to the voice of our ancestors. And these are the resources that have been left for us by uh, mostly our um, elders who have um, passed on. Um, so, like old recordings, uh, the paperwork that we're working with on this particular project from my late grandfather's work, such as the handwritten documents and type things, things that um, our language revitalization efforts started out with. Um, lexicon committee and SPLC. So, uh, we have a lexicon committee that uh, collaborates on the construction of what we might deem new words for Sanchothan are, are words that are, necessi are, are necessary 
for uh, such things as curriculum like math and literacy. So, so terms that we wouldn't otherwise have in the language. And we're trying to wrap with, uh, with the, uh, the worldview of Sintrothan. SPLC is uh, Sintrothan Proficiency Learning Community, which is, I guess, in a sense, a, a professional development for our teaching and resource development team opportunities that we're uh, making available for our teachers and teacher assistants to basically grow their language proficiency. Basically, uh, what's kind of almost become the, the, the draw or the reason why we do what we do is Lanong at School Out, which is our immersion school. So moving on to post-secondary connections, our Sinchathan East is the uh, post-secondary program for uh, language learners and uh, uh, teachers to uh, move into the Lanang at school out or to become uh, resource developers and uh, basically the, the 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 arms and legs of our of our language revitalization efforts and um, linguistic uh, a team of linguists uh, we've been working and collaborating for some years now with uh, uh, various linguists uh, primarily from uh, Uvic, but also Timothy Montler, who has, uh, uh, who is the um, uh, author of our uh, current uh, print of the Sintrothan Dictionary. So those, these are these are great relationships that we've collaborated um, and, and built upon. So um, and then outside institutions uh, such as First Peoples Cultural Council, you know, have provided so many opportunities of various programs and initiatives funding funding resources for us to be able to do what we do and and looking to uh conclude you know we ask ourselves what guides the work this kind of brings us to thinking in terms of um our own uh clear vision and control or uh what uh my sage saint and often refers to as Sintroth and Freedom Land. So we ultimately want to be able to provide the best possible uh, scenario, the best possible outcome for our Sintroth and Languages revitalization, which inevitably means that we have uh, established a, a, a speaking community of people, people who can come together and speak to one another in our mother tongue. You know, and when we when we look at these reasons why we do what we do, we want to keep close to our, our uh, cultural uh, outlook, our, our, our cultural practices. I think really, I think when everyone asks themselves why they're doing what they're doing with the language, it's not just important for some kind of categorical or some kind of practical thing to have. Um, as a part of your community, but um, for us, we hold very close to ourselves the the spiritual nature is is a is very much a, a big driver for what we do because, as we often say, and we always say this, but that the language is sacred. It's 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 a very sacred. There's uh, terminology that is exclusive to to prayer. And, and, you know, the way that we describe things, how it envelops our worldview, how it helps us to inform how we see the world around us is absolutely vital. And um, it's, it's a huge, huge part of uh, us identifying with who we are in our territory as Kusetnich people. So we cannot discount that. Also, in establishing these relationships, branching out and we do all of these things in house and we want to do the best that we can to ensure that language is going to survive in our community but um to be able to reach out to all these various uh peoples various nations of peoples who are speaking their and, and working towards revitalizing their mother tongue language you know uh we're kindred spirits in the struggle of of trying to revive our languages so with that you know i really nansnuchi at the nakwelia mokse na kunche exesnengsati is quail you know i just really think each and every one who continues this this work 
this beautiful and, and sacred work of uh, language revitalization and, um, you know, and, and forging those connections and being able to collaborate in, in some respect, whether it's just by sitting down and having a conversation and sharing some of those ideals and uh, informing what language revitalization means. So, I... I Wawa Knesi, hi all Knesi, quail, so hi Scott, hi Scott, see him. Hi, I'm finished.